The issue at hand is that Health Canada is about to eliminate all personal and designated production licenses for the purpose of growing our own medicine under the MMAR. Health Canada will, if successful, then only license large-scale commercial operators to produce our medicine at up to four times the current cost under the new MMPR. John Conroy will now explain what is at stake and how important your personal impact statements and donations are in preventing this legislation from becoming reality. A coalition is being formed against the repeal of the medical marijuana access regulations, particularly the personal production licenses and designated production licenses. Uh, the government is planning to introduce the medical marijuana regulations or marijuana for medical purposes regulations to basically repeal the what we call the MMAR and enact what we call the MMPR which are regulations under the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act in relation to medical marijuana. Jason Wilcox has been organizing the coalition against the repeal and established this coalition and uh, we have a web page and email contact it's basically a coalition of persons and special interest groups coming together to examine what the facts are to determine the impact of the proposed new regulations on the existing holders of Health Canada licenses to use and cultivate. So the purpose of the coalition is one, to prevent some or all of the new regulations from becoming law and we look there to see how they're reasonable or unreasonable on a constitutional right of access. Two, maintain the status quo until reasonable access is assured for those patients having a right to access, established by the Ontario Court of Appeal decision in Parker in 2000, which held that patients have a Section 7 charter constitutional right of reasonable access. So the key question is, are these new regulations reasonable limits on that constitutional right? And the courts have established uh, various tests for that. If the government is successful in repealing the regulations, then there may be a class action for damages suffered by people who have spent considerable sums attempting to uh, uh, access their cannabis medicinally by either growing it themselves or having it grown for them. And the government resisted changes to that approach over these 10, 11 years. The uh, Ontario Court of Appeal in uh, the Parker case did say that it, they found that um, Mr. Parker needed marijuana to control his symptoms and concluded that the prohibition on cultivation and possession was unconstitutional. However, there was no cultivation charge before the court the court said had there been a cultivation charge before the court, it would have come to the same conclusion as it did with respect to the possession, which was a right of reasonable access. Now, at that time, there was no uh, supply. And, uh, of course, since then, various supply methods have arisen, the big one over the last 10 years being the personal producers and the designated growers. And uh, while there was also the government supply that uh, originally started out as for research purposes and then came for uh, as a supply for, for some people, but uh, if anything, it had illustrated how the government, uh, by a contract with one group, wasn't really able to supply quality uh, and different strains that uh, many of the patients needed. So here's the new proposed supply is the licensed producer, which in some respects is a positive development to enable the producers to exist that will grow for many people as opposed to just one or two. Uh, but the costs of, of doing so and the way they propose it raise a number of questions that we really should get an independent opinion about. Going through the coalition is important because obviously I'm involved in all sorts of other cases and can't just be sitting in front of my computer or on the telephone for each call that comes in. Um, and we, but we will be assigning somebody to respond to everybody so that hopefully we can uh, uh, proceed forward with the coalition. Those of you who can afford counsel, of course, you can go to our webpage and, and uh, contact us directly in order to do that. 
Uh, we are certainly advising uh, people on all various aspects of uh, what's gone on in the past and what's proposed in the future and, and ways and means of trying to, uh, to deal with what's being proposed. Our objective is to raise $10,000 for the legal opinion, and uh, we have about 4000 raised at the moment, so we still need uh, another 6000 to get moving on the first stage, and that first stage is the most important as to just what we do thereafter. Um, ideally, we uh, should do something about the repeal of the existing regulations before the end of September when they won't take any more applications under those regulations. Uh, all applications under those regulations will expire March 31st, 2014, so that's our sort of ultimate deadline in terms of trying to do something to prevent repeal and enactment of the new or portions thereof. The big factor in terms of the uh, new uh, licensed producer is going to be uh, how people who have developed strains for themselves over many years, invested in plant and equipment, having been forced to do so by government in the face of efforts to try and open it up, are now suddenly faced with possibly losing that investment, losing the ability to make that particular strain. There's going to be patent uh, issues over strains that people have developed. And most importantly, it appears that the cost to the patient is going to be quadrupled in many cases. I'm hearing from people that they are able to produce at $2 a gram, and the government is uh, estimating an $8 a gram. So is that reasonable? Is that a reasonable limit on the patient's right of access? So here's the new proposed supply as the licensed producer, which in some respects is a positive development to enable uh, producers to exist that will grow for many people as opposed to just one or two. Uh, but the costs of, of doing so and the way they propose it raise a number of questions, dependent opinion about.